Hello there and welcome to BNETTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. We're here at the Heinz Convention Center in Boston for the mobile internet world and I am joined by Sean Owen of Google. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. My pleasure. Um, first of all, why don't you tell us what your role at Google is since so, it's you know, a small company and just a few people Right. There. No, nobody's heard of it. Uh, so I'm a software engineer for Google. I work in the New York office just down the road here. Uh, and I work on mobile applications in general, but mobile search in particular. Uh, so I'm here actually today to, as a representative from Google to the W3C who's here with a, a speaking about some of their initiatives related yes, to mobile search. Absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about mobile search. Sure. What do you feel it needs to go into mobile search that maybe is a little bit different from how we looked at, I guess, the regular, I don't want to minimize, but regular internet online searching, if you will. So how is mobile web search different? Mm -hmm. uh, it's different in, in so many ways. People are looking for different things uh, when they're searching on their mobile device. But I think people, uh, one of the main differences between the mobile web and web is that uh, interoperability is still such a huge problem. You've got many different devices, many different capabilities, lots of different markup languages. So one of the things uh, we focus on at Google and, and also through this W3C working group is trying to promote interoperability, standards, compliance, things like that. Since that will, I, I, once we fix that problem, I think people's mobile web search experience will, will get better and approach the, the level of quality and uh, reliability they, they expect out of the web. Right. You mentioned that people search for different things on their mobile device than they do off of their computer on the internet. Right. How so? Well, um, and I imagine when you are uh, at your at your computer, you're searching for a lot of different kinds of information, maybe a recipe on how to make cookies or so on. You're probably not looking for that when you're uh, uh, out and about on the town or looking for a restaurant, for example. People on their mobile devices tend to be looking for um, bits of information, like an address or a phone number. They're looking for local results, what's near me. Um, they're looking for news, maybe ringtones and so forth. Uh, so they're not looking for uh, detailed information about esoteric topics. So that affects what kinds of content you want to give people in, in response to a search query. Does that mean, for example, that you need to, and of course I am not a, a software engineer or programmer or even just trying to understand some of the back end of the technologies mm -hmm. can be a little bit challenging. People with their mobile devices then are going to search for things perhaps a little bit more quickly. In true. a sense, so does that mean that the words maybe that they're searching are maybe a little bit more vague That's than true. they would be if they were sitting down at their computer and had time to think about it, but I need to get to this restaurant, I need to find this particular location, so I'm just, you know, quickly right. typing something in. Is that one of the things that affects how the search capabilities are created, if you will? Absolutely right. Very, very perceptive. Uh, you're right. When people have a little mobile phone, it's hard to type long queries, so people don't. Uh, which makes the search problem harder. You have less information to go on to figure out what the user wanted. Um, so to get around that, uh, we try to present, number one, different kinds of information to the user at once in mobile search. So you get possibly some local results, some images, some web results. Hopefully we're getting you the, the, what you wanted the first time. Uh, we also ask you for, or you have the opportunity in our mobile web search to input your location, for example. So we can immediately give you local results without having to ask you a second time for your location or force you to put in a zip code with every And query. so that ability to sort of know, I'm giving you the information of where my location is, whereas I know some of the things that are being talked about is the ability for, I guess, a GPS signal to know where I am and then deliver that information. Are those two things that are going to need to converge further in order to make searchability even more optimized, if you will? That would be great, absolutely. If the, the phone really knew exactly where you were and could communicate that to the web server, that would be great. That's, a, that's sort of a technical problem right now that uh, not everyone has a GPS in their device, and devices don't typically send that information with a request to a, a web service. So uh, maybe we can fix that through standards bodies like the W3C. Uh, maybe it'll take uh, search applications that can really integrate with the phone itself on the client side to deliver that kind of location-based service. Wonderful. Um, we were actually speaking um, earlier with um, Steve Bratt from the mm -hmm. World Wide Web Consortium, and one of the things that we're talking about is that we need to stop looking at the, the World Wide Web and the Internet, if you will, as something separate from mobile. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that. That's true. I mean, in the end, at the end of the day, when someone's searching for information on their mobile phone, they don't really care whether it's a, a mobile website or a website. They're just looking for information and, and what they're looking for. Um, so since that's what's best for the users, that's what we should all be interested in, in promoting. Um, so the W3C in particular is, um, at the same time, it's trying to help people 
author uh, specifically for mobile devices, it promotes this idea of one web and that uh, you shouldn't, uh, you, you should present the same information to web and, and mobile web users um, irrespective of how they're accessing the content. Um, and in that, in that way, bring the web and all the information to everyone regardless of how they're accessing it. Right. When you're developing the searchability for the, the mobile web, I guess mm -hmm. I'll just sort of separate it sure. for, for now. Are you having to, you, you said that of course there's different types of phones, and different mm -hmm. types of cares, and all these different things that kind of go into the scheme of things. But are they not kind of intersecting at the same place of finding that particular information? Why are all of those differences barriers, if you will. Why, why are the differences a problem? Yeah. It's a good question. Uh, I, can, I can think of two reasons. Uh, number one is that there are actually many different kinds of markup languages in which you write mobile websites. Uh, some phones can understand some of them, but not others. So that's a fundamental difference from the web. So in that sense, we do have to customize which information you give to phones um, based on their capability. Right. Um, some phones are, are, are capable of passively rendering a whole website. Um, you've seen the iPhone, for example, with its nice zoom features, and it's really nice. Um, so in, the, in those cases, we'd want to maybe give the users a, a full website instead of our transcoded or stripped down version of the full website. So you're absolutely right. People are, in the end, looking for the same information, and uh, it shouldn't really matter how they're accessing it. But we're trying to simply overcome the, the technical uh, issues on the ground to make sure you're not, we're not giving you results you can't use at all. Right. And you're speaking on a panel at the show? Yes, just got done actually. Just in Can this you give room. us a, a quick uh, overview of what you spoke on? Absolutely. So I'm here today to uh, speak as part of the W3C Developers Summit here. Uh, I spoke briefly about Mobile OK. So the W3C um, has a subset called the Mobile Web Initiative, which is focused on all things mobile. Uh, in particular, it has a, a best practices working group um, to which I represent Google. And uh, recently, we, we've just finally finalized a specification called Mobile OK. It's basically, um, you can think of it as a, a, a set of uh, a tests you can apply to mobile content to identify possible problems. Uh, for example, you wouldn't want to put an, an image on the page that, uh, on a mobile page that was 100 kilobytes. That's just going to take a long time to download. So um, this set of tests has been codified in the specification that's gone to candidate recommendation today, which means uh, basically means it's done. And so I was here to announce that. Uh, also to announce that we've produced a reference implementation. So this is a, a specification that defines a, a machine testable set of tests. So it makes, only makes sense for us to produce software that runs these tests. Right. Uh, so we've done that and released it in kind of alpha form through the W3C. So I was also here to note that and encourage people to participate. It's an open source project. Uh, it's a collaboration of many companies, including Google and the W3C. And uh, we want to get people involved so we can make this tool available for everybody. Because the more people are running these, these tools and identifying problems and fixing right. them, the better the mobile web experience will be for everybody. It must be exciting to be involved um, at a point in this space where it really is about a collaborative effort to solve some of these problems to get to that next level. It is nice. It, it's nice that a, a lot of companies uh, come together under the auspices of the W3C to collaborate, uh, not just on specifications, not just to talk and uh, attend conferences, but also to really produce software and right. uh, really help real developers trying to author real content that for real users on the ground today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We've been here with Sean Owen from Google, and we're here at Mobile Internet World, and I'm Michelle Sklar for BNETTV.com.